what is up guys and welcome back to cheesy techie video so today i'm going to do something uh, some kind of like maintenance so this is uh, acer travel 4720 so this is my relative uh, laptop that she she gave me give me away give away for me so because uh yeah she got a lap a new laptop because this thing is a core 2 i think it's a core 2 dual laptop and it's not up to standard, so yeah. So um, I have to apart everything already, just to install the um, CMOS battery because the original CMOS battery, the CR twenty thirty two, the battery is kind of dead. And when I turn on the computer, it always like this back to all the way back to uh, two thousand six. And yeah, I had to go to the BIOS menu and set it up, blah blah blah. It's very troublesome. So for now, I'm going to put a new bat, new um, CR twenty thirty two battery. But this is different. This is a twenty twenty five battery. So this is the uh, but the only difference of twenty twenty five and the twenty thirty two is the uh, the thickness and thinness. It's quite thin, but. At least get the job done and uh, yeah. So uh, let's stop. Let's not talk more. I will go to talk about all those what I did, what I do about this. So uh, what I'll do now? But so some things I did. So uh, here is the the power button. But originally it just just come off, and I use a soldering iron to just um like you know melt the melt the plastic together so that it, it, the power button the thing some kind of support uh holds the thing together so yeah so here you go i go i'm not going to talk more i don't know what to say about it so let's start going Alright guys, um, it's now technically finished, finish. I have installed the CWAS battery but the reassembly part right, I did not um, record it because um, it's a very difficult process and it's a difficult, it's a health process and also I have, I did some error to the um, touchpad, I think this is called a finger print board thing i don't know what you call it i think it's a trackpad buttons um i screw up the cable i i screw up the cable and yeah 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 blah 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 and yeah 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 that's a long story i don't want to share um so this so i have fixed already later i'll show you uh it's still loading the um windows 7 home page and it works i'm really happy and the date sets correctly now it's 901 I check out to my misty watch it works and yeah make sure that all, the, all the yes everything working caps lock so never mind um everything's everything works scroll out blah 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 I think it's number lock, ah, lock yeah all the um All the functions, all the uh, hotkeys, blah blah blah, it works. I have not gonna test the, uh, I have not test the webcam yet. But for for this, for this V, I think I am planning to upgrade to the uh, to uh, SSD. But technically, yeah, nah, not worth. So let me just open Crystal Disk Info, but. For the disassembly and reassembly is hell, I did not show you how I did it. So, some modification that I've done is that I 
I DIY the laptop hinge. As you can see, I just jerry rigged it myself. And as you can see, it's just worth it. But how I get these fittings from? This one I get from my dad's uh, parts bin. And all the miscellaneous crap and the holder thing, which I got from the compact Rosario V3 3000 laptop. As you can see, which are uh, planning to re uh, make a video about restoring this, but fortunately, it's not worth for me because it's core 2 duo and I got this on a few years back, but it's not worth. As you can see, the reason why I want to upgrade, but planning not to upgrade to an SSD, but because of the hard disk, is quite good, it's in good condition, it's not even there's no point like uh, upgrading to a for uh to an ssd because it's an old laptop it's not even worth um, yeah so according to system information uh originally now currently yes 2.5 gig ram compared to max max to 4 gigs of ram which this computer can can support supports so and also dr2 is quite very cheap so there we say this is the uh, I installed a CMOS battery on the laptop but for how to reassemble and disassemble this laptop I'm gonna link the service menu in the video description so there we say this is the two days job I think two days um, work restoring this this laptop I think this is gonna be a part one of this lap this Acer uh, Treble Rig 4720 this one, how I get this, I got from my relative. She's but and they gonna throw out. So yeah, why not? I just grab this laptop. It's a Tremor Mate series also, but also my Acer. It's a Tremor Mate series. So there you go. Uh, lazy on. So um, I keep with the Windows Seven. I'm not gonna this one Windows Ten. Cause I wanna I wanna feel the nostalgia of Windows Seven. So. That's that's for today's video. Uh, I don't know next next um, upgrade is upgrading RAM, but for the storage, upgrading the SSD is not worth. Maybe the um maybe the RAM I gonna post on YouTube shots. So that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys next time! Bye bye!